Hi, um, I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of quadratic functions. Uh, I'm Hugo and I hope that you enjoy the video. So first, let's use the quadratic functions and the inverse. To have an inverse, you need to set a function as 1 to 1. So first, we have to set the domain of the quadratic function using 1 to 1 functions. Quadratic function is not a 1 to 1 function. So first you have to set the domain. To set a 1 to 1 function, the domain of the quadratic equation should be minus b divided to a to infinity or minus infinity minus b divided to a. This is the vertex, okay, the x point of the vertex. The vertex divides the quadratic functions according to the symmetry axis. So this is the difference between the one-to-one -one function, I mean the positive part or the negative part of the domain. Yeah. So I'd like to show you how to find the inverse of quadratic functions just by two examples. And then you could check it how we apply the method. So first find the inverse of the following quadratic function. The function is f as a function of x equals 3x squared minus 4x minus 1. So first we have to set the domain. a equals um, 3 b equals minus 4 and c is minus 1. Now we're going to set the domain. So uh, I'm going to use the positive part minus b divided to a to infinity. So domain or setting a one to one domain okay setting a one to one domain I'm saying this but it means that the domain in which the function is one to one um, so uh, we're going to determine the vertex so minus b divided to a is negative mm, negative 4 divided 2 times 3 so is positive uh, 2 is simplified with 1 2 here so it's 2 thirds Two thirds. So domain is from two thirds to infinity. This is the domain for one to one function. Now to set the to find the inverse use fx equals y use fx equals y And now I'm going to change or interchange x and y. X and y. Interchange it. Interchange x and y. Here we have to change x and y, x, y, 
and y. <clears throat> okay, so we have this equation, we have to solve the equation for y, and um, to solve this equation for y, we have to set the equation equal to zero and apply quadratic equation. So let me show you how. So set equation equal to zero. So x is here, we are going to subtract by x. And let me write it in a parenthesis. Positive because I factor a negative. So solve the quadratic formula using. So now we have a quadratic formula to solve for y. So what do we have to use? We have to use a equals 3 b equals minus 4 and c equals minus one plus x uh, you can watch the video about quadratic equations to know what is the how, what is the quadratic formula and how to solve it so I'm just going to show you the solution please check in a book the quadratic formula or check in the other video about quadratic functions what is the quadratic formula so let's go now find the inverse so y equals minus b minus b b is minus 4 so 4 positive and negative the square root of b squared 16 minus 4ac C is negative, so positive. 4 times 3, 12. AC, C is 1 plus X. Divided 2A, 2 times 3, 6. Okay, we can factor here. You, you can do the, the steps that I'm going to explain you and then check it, check it. So you can do here a factoring of four, cause this is four times four, 16, and four times three is 12. You can factor four and the root will be a two. And then we can simplify is six. So we can simplify one, two here and here 2 plus okay 4 plus 3 and look at that we can apply here distributive property so we have 4 times plus 3 7 plus 3x 3x okay you can see both two solutions positive and negative it means that we have two solutions, two functions, two inverse functions. So it means one which you choose, two thirds to infinity, and the other in which you choose, two thirds minus infinity. These are the two. So we're going to use a graph, a graph, uh, a graph program to check which one represents the the two thirds to infinity and which one represents two thirds to minus infinity? So let me show you. Y equals to 
3x squared minus 4x minus 1. Okay, this is the this is the function we have. This is this function. Now we're going to graph with positive. With positive. Y equals to mm, okay two plus square root of seven three x divided three. Okay, you can see minus two thirds. This is the graph. Look at this. You could see the start the range starts at two thirds and going into infinity. So with positive is the domain that we're looking with positive. Now what, what if I graph it with negative? With negative. So two minus square root of seven plus 3x divided 3. Okay, look at the other part. With positive and with negative. Remember, first set the domain in such a way that you have a one-to-one -one function. And then solve using the quadratic formula. This is the best way to find the inverse of a quadratic formula, or at least the best for me. Mm. Now it's time for you to try using the following uh, equation. Let's gonna try it a, a different. 2x plus 6x plus 3. Okay. Have your time, pause the video, and then solve it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to solve it now. So, I'm going to do it so quickly, because I wanted you to do the exercise. Actually, you have to do the exercise to learn. So, I'm going to do it quickly. I'm going to explain so much. Look at just interchange fx for y now now we have to interchange y for x and now we're going to move x to subtract we have 3 minus x here now quadratic formula quadratic formula Okay, something that I didn't do, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to find the domain. Set domain. To set domain, I got to find minus b divided to a minus 
6 divided 2 times 3 this is negative 1 so domain negative 1 to infinity now let's apply fx equals y interchange quadratic formula so we have y equals to minus b b is 6 minus 6 so as I am just want to do the positive part, I use positive. So I choose minus 1 to infinity. Mm, 36 minus 4ac. Four 4ac. Four so 4 times 2, 8, and z is 3 minus x, divided to a, 2 times 2, 4. So again, I can factor here a4, and I have 9, a4, and I have 2, and square root of 4 is 2, so we have this, and then we can simplify, so this is the answer, and the parenthesis, 2 times 3 is 6, and 9 minus 6 is 3, minus 2x. Okay, so this is the inverse. This is the inverse for this domain. If we need the inverse for minus 1 to minus infinity, so it should be with negative. So let's see. Let's see the graph. Let's see the graph. Okay. So y equals 2x square plus 3. Okay, you can see the graph of the function. And y equals minus 3 plus the root of 3 minus 2x divided, oh, let me raise the parenthesis, okay, divided 2. <coughs> okay, look at, as you can see here, we draw for the, dom for the range minus 1 to infinity but the domain is from minus 1 from 1 to minus infinity so there is something that that is not fitting here because our domain starts at 1 Okay, look at the range, minus 1 to infinity. The range is minus 1 to infinity. It's good, it's correct. Range is minus 1 to infinity. Remember that, um, you know, sometimes we commit mistakes. <laughs> Remember that this domain, minus 1 to infinity, is the domain of the quadratic function 
to be from minus infinity to be a one-to-one -one function and when you find the inverse this domain will be will become the range so the range of the inverse is from one to minus to infinity okay If you want to know the domain of this function of the inverse, domain of the inverse, if you want to find the domain of the inverse, you just have to, to you just have to 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 check for which values the discriminant is greater than zero. So. Um, We're going to check D greater than or equals to zero for this example D is three minus two X so this is greater than or equals to zero So let's solve the inequality. Add 2x to each side. And now divide by 2. So this is the domain of the, of the inverse. x is less than or equals to 3 halves. 3 halves, 1.5. One point five. That's it. And this is how you find the inverse of a quadratic function. Uh, you can check the inverse if you like. Just to check the inverse, use uh, the function of the inverse or the inverse of the function, and it should give you x in each case. And remember, remember, set the domain to be one to one. Use quadratic equation to solve the final function, and that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. See you.